page 101 open please can you tell us tell everybody what you had to do for your homework write each sentence write the name for each special thing correctly yeah good boy so sam can you tell me what a noun is? a noun people is people, yeah. thing, animals, and yeah. places. Good boy, and places. So they are common nouns. We say common nouns. Can everybody say a noun is? A noun is. A, a person? A, a place? Place. A thing? A thing. And an animal. Uh, animal. And, and on Friday, we were learning about proper nouns, okay? And proper nouns are specific, okay? So, Misha, can you give me a proper noun for a person? Daisy. Daisy. Yeah, they are proper nouns, okay? They name the noun, okay? What about um, Taylor? Can you give me a proper noun for a place? America. America, yeah. What about um, uh, um, Everest School? Yeah, Kwangan Park, La Vie. Um, yeah, so these are all proper nouns. They give us more details about the noun, okay? So the first one, milk. Can you read the first sentence for us? Two gardens with a deep digger shovel. Good boy. So what did you need to change? We need a capital letter, okay? So at the start of our sentence, we need a capital S. And then gardens with her deep digger shovel. Can you make sure you have that correct now, please? Change it if you don't. You need to quickly change it. So think of like things like Coca-Cola, La Vie, um, Pablo, Doraemon. Yeah, these are names of things. They are proper nouns and they all need capital letters. Okay. So Mango, can you read the second sentence for us? I gave my dad happy day raisins. Yeah, happy day raisins. So that's the name of the raisins. Yeah, like Coca Cola is the name of the drink. So, what do you need to do for proper nouns, Mango? You need to make sure we have a. Oh, well, make sure we have a capital letter. Good boy. So, here, I, at the start of your sentence, needs to be a capital because it's the start. I gave my dad happy, capital H, day, capital D. Raisins, capital R, okay? Good. Can you make sure you have that correct? Change it if you don't. Moon, can you read number three? But proper nap. Now, Mama, I get my, no, I get quickly grape juice. I quickly grape juice. Yeah, so... What do you need to put um, for a pronoun? You need a... Capital letter. Yeah, good girl, a capital letter. Excellent. Can you make sure you can change that now, please? Harry, can you read number four? Let's roll on Frank Road. On Franklin Road. So is, is Franklin Road a person, a place, a thing, or an animal? Yeah, so what do you need to do? You need to make sure you have a... Capital letter. Yeah, capital letter. So can you make sure you have grapes is capital G because it's the start of our sentence. And then Franklin, F, capital F and capital R because that's the name of the place. Can you make sure you've got that right? Change it if you don't, okay? Number five, Nam. I will grow in... In Ali. Say Italy. Italy. Yeah, 
So olives grow in Italy. So Nam, is Italy a person, a place, a thing, or an animal? Yes. Yeah, good boy, it's a place. It's our proper noun, okay? It's, it's telling us exactly the place, which is Italy. So you need a capital I, Italy. Rosie, can you read number six? Apple grows in Portland. Does it say apple grows or apples grow in Portland? Apples grow in Portland. Good girl. So Portland, is that a person, a place, a thing or an animal? Mm, a place. Yeah, so what do you need? You need a... Capital letter. Yeah, a capital letter. So you need a capital A because it's the start of your sentence and a capital P because it's a proper noun. It's telling us exactly where it is. And Portland is a place in America, okay? So let's have a look at the, the next page, okay? So proof read for spelling. Duck, what does... Proofread mean. That means copy it again, but but you different words. Mm, it means check for mistakes. Okay. Yeah, check for mistakes and make them right. Yeah. So you had to check for spelling mistakes, um, and then you needed to write the correct spelling at, at the bottom of the page or in the middle of the page. Okay. So, Duck, can you read the first sentence? Miss yeah, what's the mistake there? What word is spelt wrong or incorrectly? Uh, clash. Yeah, how do we spell it? C-L-A-S-H. Uh, Good boy, yeah, class with a double S, double consonant. Well done. Um, Susu, can you read the next sentence for us? <laughs> Yeah. What did you say, Miss Lottie? Susu, have you read the first bus? The first bus was full. Yeah. We waited for the next one. Good girl. What's the mistake in that, Susu? Yeah, so we, how do you spell that? F-U-L-L. -L. Yeah, F-U-L-L, -L. good girl. Okay, Puppy, can you read the next sentence? After about a block, the bus ran over a big rock. Yeah. Good girl, what's the mistake? Rock. Shower. Yeah, how do you spell it? Uh, R -O uh, C and K. Oh, yeah. yeah. R-O-C-K. Okay, we've got a C-K ending. Good girl. Okay. Um, Sophia, can you read the next sentence? There was a loud noise and then the bus stopped. Yeah, read the next sentence, Sophia. The driver said that we were stuck. We were stuck. What's the mistake, Sophia? The mister is plus one K and uh, the first K must be a C, not the K. Good girl. So how do you spell stuck, Sophia? S-T-U-C-K. Well done. Excellent. Stuck. Good. Okay. And Ray, can you read the last sentence? You had to add the ear to the tire before we go. Good boy. What's the mistake there, Ray? The word add. How do you spell add? A A D. Yeah, A D D add. Good boy. Look, and we've got our double consonants: double S, double L, double D, and then we have our C K and C K. Good. Okay. Um, Bunny, what did you have to do for this part of the homework? Let's just. Hold on, what is the little, uh, uh, what has meaning? Yeah, so you had to unscramble the letters, so put them in the correct order. So what was the first word, Bunny? Dog. Yeah, can you spell it for me? Oh, uh, double L. Yeah, doll, doll, good girl. 
Okay, number seven, banana. Number seven is black. Good boy. Can you spell black for me? Black. Black. Yeah, good. Excellent. And you've got a nice blend at the start of the word, black. Good. Okay. And Jack, can you read number eight? Stuck. Good boy. Can you spell stuck? Stuck. Oh. Yeah. Stuck. Excellent. Good boy. Stuck. Okay. Number nine, pasta. What's number nine, pasta? Um, number nine is neck. Yeah, can you spell it? No. Eh. Good boy. Next. Okay, Taylor, number ten. Number ten is kick. Yeah, spell it for me. K e k kick. Good girl, well done. Kick. Cherry, number 11. Good girl, Will. Okay, and last one. Like a wicked witch does, she casts a spell on you, like Harry Potter also casts a spell. Milk, what's number 12? Um, number 12 is spell. Can you spell it for me? S P E L. Spell. Oh, good boy. And look, we've got a blend at the start. Can you see milk? We say sp. Mm -hmm. sp, -l -l. sp -l. Good boy. Well done. Okay, excellent. So hopefully you've got them all correct. So you can put your reader's notebook to the side now, okay? And then we're going to move on with our lesson, our writing lesson. And today or tomorrow, you are going to write a summary of the ugly vegetables okay so pasta what does summary mean summary means we describe the most important parts of the text yeah we just uh, write or speak the important parts of the text and we need to put them in order is that correct pasta what's the order what's the sequence of events the secret all ranks are the beginning, the middle, and end. Good boy, well done. And when you summarize, you need to use your own words, okay? So imagine you are trying to explain to your mum or dad about the ugly vegetables, okay? How would you explain the story very shortly, okay? So um, everybody say summarizing. Summarizing. Describe the most important parts. Describe the most important part. In the beginning, middle, and end. In the beginning, middle, and end. Awesome, okay. Does anybody know the story of the three little pigs? Yes. Okay, right. Taylor? Yes? Can you summarize the three little pigs in three sentences? Yes. Okay, what happens in the beginning? At the beginning, the little pigs tell us their mom that they will go and live alone. Okay, yeah, nice. So they'll, they leave home, yeah? And they go to build mm -hmm. their own homes. Good girl. Jack, what happens in the middle? They build their own house yeah they build different homes using different materials yeah yes and what happens in the middle of the story and then what who comes along uh the wolf comes along yeah and he huffs and puffs and tries to blow the house down yeah yeah okay what happens uh at the end of the story rosie the end of the story the three little pigs live together. They live together and they're safe from the wicked wolf? Yeah, good, okay. And whose house do they go and stay in? <gasps> the pig they stay in the third pig house. Yeah, and what does he make his house from? Brick. Yeah, bricks, good, okay. so. That's telling me the story in about four or five sentences. Can you see it's very, very quick. 
We just give the important details. So that's what you will be doing for the ugly vegetables. But first, I know it has been a few days since we read the ugly vegetables. So you will do a quiz, okay? And the quiz is going to help you remember the main events of the story. So this is your code, okay, 007819. Miss Dahlia, can you put this in the chat, please? Okay, Terry, you'll do it with me. Okay, let's start. Okay, Cherry, you can do it with me and so can Duck, okay? So, the first question, Cherry and Duck, what's the answer? Hey, mum and a girl. Yeah, main characters are mum and a girl, okay? What's number two? Uh, B. Yeah, good. What's number three? Uh, C. Yeah, so that happens, does that happen in the beginning or middle of the end of the story? Uh, beginning. Good boy. Cherry, what's number four? It's naughty. I can't play. Okay, well, you can do this with me, Sophia, okay? Sophia, what's number four? Hey. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Okay, Cherry, what's number five? Okay, number eight? Uh, the, uh, she likes the... Uh, a pea vegetable are great because they make uh, uh, delicious food. Well done, yeah. Okay, um, let, me, let me ask Taylor, what's number nine? Number ten? They realize they uh, can uh, make a delicious food with the vegetables. Yeah, good. And um, what's number, what's the final one? What's the last question? Uh, the girl learns that vegetable one garden put pretty, but they always still great. It doesn't matter what something look on the outside, it's, it's the inside that matters. Good boy, well done. Excellent. So you got them all right, Dirk. Okay, so let's have a look at how everyone's doing. Oh, morning owls, look at that. Okay, morning owl. Great job. Oh. Sam, Jack, Puppy, Pasta, Banana, Yes, milk, Sam! Honey, Nam and Susie. Yes, 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 Banana! Yes, yes! yes. Win, win. Morning hours. Okay, so let's quickly have a look at some of the questions that we got wrong. So we all know the main characters are the mum and the girl. How can you tell it's spring? <laughs> So, um, people planting seed. Okay, um, Misha, 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 can you tell me the setting of the story? And remember, setting is when and where. The setting is in the. The setting is in the garden. And where, yeah, so that's where. And when does it happen? What kind of time of the year does it happen? Uh, in spring. Good girl, excellent. So we've got main characters, we know the setting. What happens at the beginning of the story, Jack? Yeah. Uh, the, the girl help mother plants a vegetable, vegetable, vegetable garden. Good boy, yeah, so that's what happens at the Gosh, beginning. Nice. Um, um, mango. Oh, mango. Where's mango? Mango? What? What are the girl and the mothers doing, mother doing differently to the neighbours? Yeah, yeah, are planting time. Yeah, they're planting Chinese vegetables. Good. And um, Moon, Moon, what's the problem in the story? What's the problem? The girl wants um, uh, just 
the gum, look at her garden and see the ugly and like the flower and the vegetables. Yeah, so the girl thinks her garden is ugly and she wants to grow beautiful flowers like her neighbors, yeah? Good girl. And um, Ray, what's the solution of the story? The solution of the story is uh, outside of the master, the inside master. Did you say it doesn't matter? Um, she realizes that it doesn't matter what the vegetables look like. Yeah, she can she can make delicious food. Yeah. Okay. So good job. Thank you, Ray. So when you write your summary, you need to write it in sequence. Everybody say sequence. 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 And Sophia. What does sequence mean? Sequence mean. Say sequence. Sequence is an art of thing happen in a story. Good. And what sequence do we use? Beginning, middle, and end. Good girl. So when you write your song, our first, you next, write... and last. Good girl. We need to write what happens in the beginning, what happens in the middle, and what happens at the end. So for your homework to help you prepare for your writing, you need to order these events, okay? So you need to tell me what happens first, next, then last, okay? Miss Dahlia or Miss Kim Ann will send you the worksheet you need to use. So your worksheet will look like this at the end, okay? So you are going to write what happens first, later, next, and last. And you are going to draw an illustration from the book to match the event, okay? So at the top of the worksheet, it says the characters are, you can draw pictures or you can write, okay? You're gonna put the setting is, Spring and in the, um, in the garden, okay? And then you're going to order these events here, okay? Put them in the right order. Yeah. And then at the bottom here, it says, in the end, the girl learned that the ugly vegetables were good on the inside. So that's the lesson that we learn, okay? It doesn't matter what we look on the outside is what matters on the inside, okay?